Good morning. <laughs> it's about 6.30. Right now I slept in a little bit this morning, but it's time to start the day. Thankful for another beautiful day. Get the natural light in, let the sun in. Oh, and apparently the snow. <laughs> Oh man. All right, let's really get the day going, shall we? <laughs> I've been through a lot of creamers uh, over the last year, just kind of figuring out that balance of still enjoying my coffee, but um, not going too crazy with sugars and calories. So I really enjoyed the Nut Pods creamer brand. It is almond and coconut milk, which is a really creamy combo. It frosts up nicely. And this one is the cookie butter flavor, which is really, really delicious. So I'm gonna put this in my frother and enjoy my first cup of coffee of the day. Okay, good official morning, guys. I'm a little more awake now. I've had some delicious coffee in my sweet mama Jody cup. <laughs> if you guys don't know, my mother-in-law and father-in-law um, passed away in 2017 in an accident. And um, this is a cup that I had made for her the Christmas. She passed, they passed just before Christmas and I had purchased this mug for her and after her passing, I kept it <laughs> and I use it for my coffee almost every morning, pretty much. But um, anyway, sidebar, um, I love them and miss them very much, but that cup is a, is a gentle reminder. Um, I wanna just take you about my day today and film what I eat in a day. I think that'll be fun. I've been getting lots of requests for that since my weight loss video. And then also any time that I am just doing something, going about my day um, that I think is a healthy habit that I've incorporated into my routine, I'm going to try to try to film it for you guys and just kind of a general living well vlog. I want to share just the bits and pieces of my day that really do bring me mental health, physical health, all around health, and just a better lifestyle. So diving into that. Um, I just finished my morning devotions and, um, you know, this is the most essential thing that I can do every single morning. It is a non-negotiable and I find that on days that I don't read my Bible first thing or, or read my devotionals, I, my whole day is just out of whack and I'm in a funk. I find myself striving for things that I shouldn't be striving for. I find my heart searching and longing for all the wrong things. Um, someone's honking. <laughs> all the wrong things. And the only thing that can be found is right here in the bread of life. And so on days that I do read, even if it's just for five minutes, I feel like I'm really putting the gospel at the center of my heart and reminding myself of what Christ did for me and how it's not my own works, it's all through grace. Um, but that beautiful reminder just encourages me throughout the rest of my day and helps me to be content no matter the circumstance, no matter the hardship, no matter what I go through. And so I'm thankful for my faith. I'm thankful um, for such a loving God and, and I'm thankful for his word. So um, I wanna encourage you to spend some time in the word today if you haven't. But also I have been trying to do more reading but my goal is usually to read a chapter a day. And so I've been reading this book currently. It's called um, Holy Huga and Creating a Place for People to Gather and the Gospel to Grow. And if you don't know what huga means or what that word is, it's actually a Danish word. There is no English equivalent, but basically it's a word of comfort and bringing beauty to the mundane, making everything meaningful. And this is really cool because it's within the realm of just homemaking and making your home a beautiful, meaningful place for people to come and gather and 
um, I really enjoyed it. It's really been an encouragement to me. So I figured I'd just share. I'll, I'll link that down below. But um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm getting my day my day going. I just dropped off my kids at school. I've got a little bit of a later start than usual this morning, but that's just because I'm filming today. But now I'm just gonna finish this cup of coffee really quick and then we'll get going with the day. One thing I did wanna mention, anytime I go into my kitchen, I take my mason jar, fill it up, and I drink some water. You gotta hydrate, especially early in the day. Huh, Maggie? It's a brisk morning. <laughs> I'm here at the gym. I'm ready to get my workout on. Okay, just got back from the gym. I am famished. I am ready for my first meal of the day. I'm gonna make a high protein smoothie. It is delicious. Um, starting out, I've been using this ISO 100 hydrolyzed protein powder. It is a whey protein powder and I know not everyone can tolerate whey. If you are interested in a plant-based protein powder, sometimes I like to change it up. I use the Garden of Life protein and greens powder, um, plant, pro plant protein, 100 calories a serving. This stuff is great, but I've been really digging the, the chocolate whey protein lately. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how I make this smoothie. I start with some frozen berries and about half of a frozen banana, teaspoon of chia seeds, these are so good, golden little seeds of fiber goodness. <laughs> and then I like to take some kind of green. Today I'm gonna to use some power greens. It's a mix of baby chard, baby spinach, and baby kale. And I'd say I put a generous handful, like a cup to two cups of these bad boys. Then I also do two tablespoons, which is one serving of PB Fit Powder. If you love peanut butter in smoothies um, or you know oats or different things, get this. It's a fraction of the calories, higher protein, and delicious. Tastes just like peanut butter. Um, I think two tablespoons adds eight grams of protein to my smoothie, which is great. And two. Then you just top this off with your milk of choice, about six to eight ounces. I personally like unsweetened coconut milk almond milk, oat milk, regular milk, whatever you prefer. I like coconut, I like the taste and the creaminess. So I'm gonna do about a cup. Cheers. Mm. Can I tell you, it tastes like a blueberry chocolate milkshake. So good, you can't taste the greens. About 35 grams of protein. So it's a great way to start the day. Okay, while I sip on my smoothie, I'm gonna do a quick five, 10 minute get ready. And I'm including this because this is a habit that really has played a big role in my mental health. Even if I stay in my gym clothes, like I'm going to today, just taking a few minutes after my workout to wash my face, put a little bit of makeup on, touch up my hair, I'll feel so much more put together throughout the day and I'll just feel more productive. So I wanted to include that. We're just gonna take a moment, get ready, and then we can get on with our day.
It's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, friends, it is now lunchtime. I can't believe it. It's already 12.30. Where is the day going? <laughs> and I'm starving. So I'm actually gonna do a piece of air fryer salmon. If you have not tried this method in making salmon, you gotta try it. It is a game changer. I set my air fryer to 400 degrees and I cook the salmon for eight minutes. Um, but all you do is you brush on some Dijon mustard. I do salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and then when I'm done seasoning, I give it a squirt of avocado oil um, to keep it from drying out. Pop it in the air fryer for eight minutes and it comes out beautiful every single time. So let's make some salmon. <laughs> I've got it set on 400 and we will go to eight minutes. Okay, I know the air fryer is kind of noisy. I just wanted to quickly walk you through the rest of my plate while that's cooking. I'm gonna do a big green power crunch salad with my salmon. So I've got this um, box of greens here. You can see it's got the sprouts on it. If you can find sprouts either individually at the grocery store or in a salad mix, grab them. They are jam-packed with micronutrients. So we'll do a big heaping pile of greens, some pumpkin seeds, a little bit of goat cheese, maybe like half an ounce or so. If you don't like goat cheese, just do without or do feta or mozzarella or parmesan, whatever cheese you like. And then I've got some roasted walnuts as well as some craisins. So this will be a nice little salmon kind of harvest salad. Some sweet potato would be a nice addition to this plate, but I don't have any leftover sweet potato today. That's okay. Um, as far as the dressing goes, I'm keeping it very simple. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and one tablespoon of light agave syrup and then some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna show you when the salmon's done and we will plate this and I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, moment of truth. The timer just went off. Oh, look at that salmon. Does that not look incredible? Oh, okay, we're gonna get this plated and I'll show you how it all came together. Okay, here is my beautiful lunch. Took eight minutes to make and it looks so fancy. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this lunch and I'll come back whenever it's time to snack again. <laughs> One thing, habit I should say, I've been trying to implement is about five or 10 minutes after my lunch, every day, I try to go for a brisk 10, 20 minute walk with Maggie. Just helps me digest my food, get some more steps in, and she really enjoys it too. Maggie loves to walk down to this cornfield, although it will be harvested at any moment. <laughs> she loves to smell. Me again, hello, <laughs> popping in. It's about three o'clock now. I've been sitting at my desk just 
getting some work done for a couple hours and I started to feel hungry and usually about this time every day it is snack time and this is my go-to snack it is satiating it's fun to munch on I feel like it lasts a good while while I'm just sitting here at my desk and it's delicious and for me that's usually just some type of fruit nuts and a little bit of cheese so I've got some can you see that I've got about a cup of red seedless grapes a small serving of macadamia nuts and pistachios and then about an ounce of white cheddar cheese and the combo is delicious again good healthy fats that keep me satiated and I enjoy this very much so I'm gonna sit here continue to work and snack and I will check back in at dinner time okay it's about that time it's now 5 30 actually it's 5 40 <laughs> and so we like to have dinner around six o'clock most days but tonight's dinner is something that I make weekly if not twice a week just because it's so simple delicious easy not even really a recipe and the kids like it so if I can get the kids on board with something we just keep repeating it but um, we're just going to do some chicken sausage with um, some of our favorites here we have honey crisp apple which the kids really like and then blazing buffalo which caleb and i really like you, it doesn't really matter what brand you get just make sure you get nitrate free um, we like the boar's head i also like the is it adels that one's pretty good too but we'll cut that up on a sheet pan with a bell pepper maybe some onion um, if I've got some on one sheet pan and then on a second sheet pan, I'm going to cut up a bunch of veggies. So I'm going to do some sweet potato, some carrot. You can pretty much just use whatever veggies you have left in your fridge. I love to make this on like Thursday or Friday um, with whatever's left from the week. I've got some Brussels sprouts here and some broccoli. I need to use up. So I'm going to get all of this cut up and then I will share how we're going to bake it. But before I get to chopping, make sure you um, preheat your oven to 375. So the sweet potato definitely takes the longest, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been making it lately. It is so good. I've been cutting them in rounds, leaving the skin on, drizzling them with either olive oil, avocado oil, butter is really good, and sprinkling them with seasoning and Parmesan before putting them in the oven. And they come out like little round fries little like potato rounds so delicious and the kids love them Okay, there's everything chopped up. Sorry if you can hear background noise. My kids are home now at this point, obviously. So now let's get these sheet pans seasoned and popped in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna do a nice generous spray of avocado oil. Toss everything a little bit. Salt and pepper. some garlic powder and Italian seasoning.
right, now these are gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. While dinner is in the oven, I just whipped up a quick salad for the family. We're just doing some greens, tomatoes, cucumber, red onion, olives, and feta cheese <laughs> and some salt and pepper. And I think my kids will likely pick ranch as their dressing, so I just have that out to go with it. So here is what my plate looks like. Everyone is starving and ready to plate this up and eat together as a family, but I just wanted to show you, I've got my sweet potato, some chicken and veggies, and I'm so excited to dive into this. Okay, it's about eight o'clock right now, and I have a sweet tooth, and I don't always snack at night, but two or three times a week, I allow myself a little treat. And tonight I am whipping up some pistachio ice cream. Now I recently invested in a Ninja Creamy. I'm gonna show you guys how the machine works here in a second. But basically the day before you want the ice cream, you have to prep your ingredients. So in here is about two cups of coconut milk and some stevia and pistachio pudding mix, sugar-free, the whole packet. I put it in here, whisked it together, and then put it in the freezer to freeze for 24 hours. And now I'm gonna put it in my Ninja Creamy and I will get a delicious low calorie dessert. This portion size is huge <laughs> for like 200 calories. I'll probably just split it with Caleb and we both get a yummy ice cream treat. Okay, so here is the Ninja Creamy. I just got it out on the counter really quick. The cool thing about this is the different settings. I'm gonna do light ice cream for a creamier texture, but if you want more of that like gelato or even sorbet, I've been doing like a, a Dole Whip kind of dupe and just doing pineapple juice and coconut milk and doing the sorbet setting and it tastes like Dole Whip from Disney World if you've ever had that. But um, there's also a mix-in feature if you wanna make like a concrete. This thing is crazy. Um, I don't know if I can do this one-handed, so I'm gonna put this in the machine and then I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, so we turn it on and tonight we're gonna do light ice cream. Light. Okay, I just pulled this out of the machine. It is done now, it looks delicious. I can't wait to dive into this and binge some Netflix. <laughs> and um, the other thing I wanted to mention really quick before I end the video, I've been taking this every night before bed and I think it helps a ton with getting a good night's sleep. It tastes delicious. It tastes like you get a spoonful of chocolate pudding um, before bed, but the flavor is actually almond vanilla. But many of us are deficient and magnesium and it really is a vital mineral that we need for many reasons if you do your research um, magnesium is super important for so many things and functions in our body so i've been taking this before bed and tonight i get my extra special treat of my pistachio ice cream <laughs> i've been enjoying one of these i'd say probably three nights a week give or take other nights i try to be good and, and not snack too much before bed but every once in a while we deserve a little something, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you lots of meal ideas and inspiration. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out my other What I Eat In A Day videos. I have a few on my channel here and I will see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye.